Okay, um, but um, first, how I got started, all my thanks to Miss Corrine, the one that first um, founded the Youth Service Bureau, because she helped me out a lot. And then Kathy helped me out, so I have to give them thanks. All right, the first poem I'm going to read is titled Changes, because that's what life is all about, changes. We don't sometimes see them, but they do change. Time changing, style changing, and people changing. People changing all the time just to get the thought of reality away from their mind. Styles changing because of inflation, trying to put us in a better situation. Time changing, trying to find a better day while naturally life slowly fades away. People changing but don't understand. Women loving women and man getting down with man. Styles of hair changing from process to afro to DA. People trying to show their sophistication in every possible way. Time, style, people appear to be strange but it's all part of this thing called change. Changing of mind, changes of hair, even changes of the fancy clothes we wear. Changes of style, changes of weather, changes that will someday bring us together. Dig the people in their fancy coats racing for the unemployment line, knowing, not knowing that life will end at the changing of time. People changing from herbs to sebas to go codeine, popping pills as though they were a manulated machine. People changing their lives by changing their color. We change so much we don't even know our real mother. Changes throughout the universe, changes throughout the land. Females changing from homely women to attractive men. Things are beginning to look so strange. We have the changes of the changes that are being changed. Changes in people and changes of time. We are changing so much it's deteriorating the mind. Changes of children, changes of man. Changes so much is messing up the land. Changes in people and the problems that dwell within. And most of the changes will start all over again. All of the changes that are strange to the mind, but the world will still end within the the changing of time. <laughs> this poem I dedicate to all the women of the world because they are the fruit of the universe and mother of civilization. In this poem I titled Mother of Civilization. To all the women of the world I give a bow for your great ability and your keen know-how. For the women of the world, I sympathize and respect. Because man has done you wrong, but you still came out correct. Yes, black and beautiful, white and fine. Whatever color you are, you are right on time. Black, white, no matter what color you are. Because right here on earth, you are a precious little star. For you are the fruit of the universe and mother of civilization. But in order for your beauty to be shown, you must have love and inspiration. Yes, you are everything the Lord made you to be, gentle as a flower and calm like the sea. Without the women of the world, what more could be said? Because you are the shapes at night we see when we go to bed. Beautiful, fine women, no matter what color or creed, you are the reason I cry and the only one I'll need. Yes, to you I give a bow for your great ability and your keen know-how. Mother of civilization, most everything you do is correct. But now man himself must give you respect. This poem I dedicate to my mother because everyone loves their mother, and I'm sure everyone here today loves their mother. A promise to mama. Mama, why do we have to burn in the summer and freeze during the winter and fall? And when we sit in the kitchen, we have to see the roaches convene on the wall. Mama, why couldn't we be like the white folk, having our daddy live with us and buy a home? So then you wouldn't be on welfare, and then we wouldn't be alone. Mama, we didn't ask to be poor, but I guess this is how the Lord wanted to be. So I guess we'll have to be proud and glad that we are free. Really, I don't like it like this, but for right now there's nothing I can do except pray and hope that we make it through. Don't cry, Mama. Our day will come, and when it's here, we're going to sing and laugh and have white folk fun. But until that day, we must be proud of what we are, because we ain't no kings and queens, because we can't even afford a candy bar. I don't know, Mama. There's just something I don't understand. For five years, I was a child, and overnight, I became a man. Mama, why does it have to be this way in this day and time, where all I do is bust my ass and break my spine. Mama, I know my wrong, 
I know I'm wrong for confiscating prejudice in my heart. But I learned from the white man, and like a pro, he plays his part. Mama, I know my prejudice isn't going to stop the roaches on the wall or get us a home. But one day, we'll never again be alone. Mama, I'm going to make a promise to you, and this promise will come true. Mama, one day we're going to reach success, and then white America will become our ultimate test. If any of you own a publishing firm, you can see Jeffrey at the end of the program. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The young women that will grace our program this evening were selected from a group of 50 girls. The selection was based on poise, stature, attitude, and basic modeling techniques. They worked diligently over the last four weeks to produce the fashion extravaganza you will witness this evening. The models are a cross-section of the student body at Montclair High School. Individually, they bring commitment, dedication, positive attitudes, and strong scholastic aptitudes to this endeavor. Collectively, they represent tomorrow's women, independent, intelligent, yet graceful and poised, and highly fashionable. And on that note, let's see what type of sportswear our young ladies have for us this evening. And our first model will be Martha, beautiful Martha. Martha has on for us a black satin top, and you will notice that it ties around the collar with short sleeves and tied at the waist. Her skirt is a plaid skirt with deep pockets and a yoke front, and she has on those fabulous ankle strap shoes to bring back that 40s look. Thank you so much, Martha. Next, we have a twin duo here, summer and winter, all rolled into one, Deidre and Jewel Jones. Yes, ladies, you can wear the boots with them or you can wear the sneakers with jeans. They are in this season, New Yorker straight leg jeans. You will also notice that their tops have the princess collar and they're gathered at the short sleeve and gathered at the waist. Aren't they lovely? Thank you, ladies. We have some more sportswear to jump out at you. Yes, Miss Deborah Dale in her sweatsuit for gymnastics, flip form. <laughs> All right, Debbie. Yes, Debbie made this jump, this sweatsuit herself. You will notice that it has a hood at the top that she can put on before or after she gets into that shower. It gathers at the waist with a tie belt and it is gathered at the ankles. Yes, ladies, you can make this yourself or go buy it down at Lipton's. Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> Next, we have Miss Kim Scott. And Kim is going to show us something fabulous in the pleated pants look. You would notice that her pants tie at the waist with little pleats, and she also has deep pockets. And the latest thing this season is ties at the cuffs. And my dear Kim has on a V-neck wool sweater. Isn't she charming? Thank you, Kim. We also have a suit for you. Busting out in June, Miss June Jeffries. June has on for us a green check suit. Her jacket has zippered pockets, and underneath you see that bad button-down vest with a white tied blouse, and her skirt has a pleat in the front. Ladies, you can wear this to your business meetings or to your luncheons. Thank you, June. Next, we have Miss Joanne in Danskin. Yes, Danskin is big this season. She has on a plum blouse that is gathered at the cuffs, and it has a princess collar with a V-neck and ties at the neckline. Her skirt is wraparound, so she can wrap it at any disco. Thank you so much, Joanne. <laughs> 
We have Miss Vicky in a fantastic skirt ensemble. She has on a beige smock top with gathers at the front yoke and gathers at the cuff. She has on a bad pleated skirt with buttons at the side. Yes, ladies, this too can be worn to the office or at home for play. She's accented her outfit with a beige tie that can be tied as a tie or unloosed to go free. Sock it to them, Vicki. All right. Okay, we got some flowers for wintertime wear. This is Miss Rhonda Dunn, and Rhonda has on for us a purple and rust flower dress that she has accented with a green vest. Vests are very large. You can't go wrong with vests this season, even with her gold chains. Isn't she sharp? Thank you, Rhonda. And the Annie Hall look is in. And Shelly wears it so well. Not all of us can wear it. I know I can't. She has on a peasant blouse, and the blouse is accented with a vest that ties in the back, and a gathered rust skirt with deep pockets. You will also notice that her skirt ties at the waistline. And she has accented her fabulous outfit with a white tie. As I said, can either be tied in a tie or loose. Isn't she sharp? Ah, you. Thank you, Shelly. <laughs> Next, we have Miss Alona in the tunic look. Yes, tunics have come back also. You will notice her beige tunic has a Mandarin or Chinese style collar, and it has a V neck. It is belted at the waist, and she has underneath her tunic top a black dress. Yes, basic black with beige. Isn't it sharp? Thank you so much, Alona. <laughs> Carmen Miranda. Carmen is the youngest of our models. She is an eighth grader that we've imported from Mount Hebron. Carmen has on a maroon pleated skirt that is belted and it has tiny gathers at the waist with deep pockets. She has on a beige or cream colored cow neck top with a maroon tie. Isn't she sweet? Thank you, Carmen. <laughs> now we have something to keep you warm in these blizzard days that are coming up. Miss Jackie Harris. Come on, Jacqueline. Jackie has on a brown cow neck knit dress that is gathered at the cuffs. And she has accented her basic brown dress with a beige shawl, poncho style. She will be extra warm in these sub-zero degree weathers. And check out those fantastic white shoes. Isn't she lovely? Thank you, Jackie. rejoined us and Kim has on maroon. Maroon is one of the colors that are coming back this season. Her dress is made out of cotton material and it buttons down the front with a tied belt and her big top is over a gathered skirt that is simple yet elegant and sharp enough for those A's in school. Thank you Miss Kim. Here we have Sheila. Now this is definitely the executive look. Check it out, Roberta. She has on her mafioso style hat that has on a gray belt at the top. Her black suit is accented with a white shirt and check out that ascot. I mean, class all the way. Yes, thank you so much, Sheila. We have some more of June, I believe. Yes, June in a bad pantsuit. And this is Mechanic Gray. Yes, ladies, a new color for this season. You will notice that it has a double vent in the back of the jacket and buttons, buttons everywhere. Her pants are slightly A-lined with a vest and a fantastic Vera blouse that has blue, gray, and beige coloring in it. Isn't it sharp? I'll take one. <laughs> Oh, 
Ultra Suede is fantastic for this season. And here comes Miss Jones and her own creation. Yes, believe it or not, she made it herself. This is Ultra Suede. It has a mandarin collar and short cuff sleeves. Her top snaps at the front with a tie waist. And her skirt is a gathered skirt. She's accented her brown with some fantastic boots. Show them the boots, girl. Aren't they tough? And a beige top. Thank you so much, Deidre. Now we're going to look at the evening wear. We're in the holiday season, so we want you to be dressed appropriately. Next, we have Miss Cherry Cini. And Cherry has on a cocktail dress that will make a hit anywhere. Her dress is a steel blue with angel sleeves. It has a V-neck with a flower at the bodice. As you see, it is three layers and ties at the waist. This is Kiana. Thank you so much, Cherry. Now, if you don't like blue, we have something for you in pink. Yes, Rhonda is back in a Kiana pink two-piece suit. It has ribbing at the shoulders and ribbing at the waistline, and it ties at the collar. Oh, ladies, you can be a hit at any Christmas party in pink. Thank you so much, Rhonda. Now, Vicki has a new color combination for us. Yes, lady, lavender blue. It's not quite lavender and it's not quite blue. It has dolman sleeves with slit at the shoulders, and you see that it has a round yoke front with gathering at the neck and a flared skirt so she can disco on back. And of course, those ankle shoes to accent her legs. Go on, Vicki. Thank you, hon. <laughs> Now, burnt red is a fantastic combination, and Jackie wears burnt red so well. And this is another Kiana creation. She has a cow neck, and you will notice that her skirt has a yoke front, and it ties in the back. And check out those pleats to give it that extra flair, if you can hang with it. Go on, Jackie. <laughs> Now, tucks are in for ladies. Yes, we are truly liberated now. Here we have Miss Carmen in a fantastic black tux. Yes, ladies, that is a satin collar you are looking at with satin pockets and buttons. Her white satin blouse is accented with a black satin tie. And this is an eighth grader. Just wait till she's our age. Go on, Carmen. Black is the color for any occasion, and Shelly has on for us a black tunic dress. It is basic black, and she is an oval blouse made out of a flowered print with a mandarin collar. It has gathers along the back yoke and a V neckline and cup sleeves. Isn't it sharp? You'll also notice her tie waistline. And boots, you can wear boots out in the evening now, ladies, because it's going to be sub-zero degree weather. So be sharp, fine, and warm. Thank you, Shelly. Some more pink. Here is Miss Alona in a fantastic disco outfit. Her pink blouse has a cow neck with straight leg pants and it is accented with a fishnet top. Watch out what you get caught in that fishnet, honey. And <laughs> thank you so much, Alona. <laughs> okay, basic brown, Miss Martha. Martha, say your last name for him. Ugiho, there we go. Martha has on the angel sleeves again that's gathered at the neckline with slits down the sides. You'll notice that her top comes to points and is tied in the back. Her slacks are slightly angled so she can make that step on the disco floor. Isn't she sharp? Thank you, Martha. Now for the gowns. I didn't want to feel all alone in my gown. So we have Miss Debbie Dale with a gray and black combination. 
Yes, lady, the shawls are in. She has a black shawl, and underneath that shawl, she has a gown that she made herself, the wrap gown. Ties, ties everywhere. So, fellas, if you're going to take it to the prom, you better be just as sharp. I think Jim's waiting for you in his gray suit. Let's give her a round of applause. Thank you so much, Debbie. And we have another gown. Yes, a baby pink and white gown. It has puff sleeves with lace on it and it zippers at the cuffs. Her gown ties at the back and you'll notice that it has ruffles along the bottom. Oh, doesn't it take you back to yesteryear when ladies were truly ladies? Thank you so much, Joanne. Now let's take a look one more time at our girls. First, we have Miss Kim Scott. And Kim is a freshman at Montclair High School. And Kim wishes to be a professional dancer. She studied dance for the last 10 years. Go on, Kim. Next, we have Vicki. Vicki has also studied dance and hopes to model professionally. She wishes to study psychiatry when she goes on to college. And Vicki's a sophomore. Alona Standy. She is a freshman at Montclair High School who just loves art and all sorts of things. Thank you, Alona. And we have Carmen Miranda, who's just the hit of our show. <laughs> Carmen is an eighth grader who's just crazy about the fellas. <laughs> Next, we have Miss Deidre Jones. Deidre is a graduate of Montclair High School who's still searching for that career goal. Maybe we can help her find it. And next we have Sheila. Sheila is a senior at Montclair High School who plans to go on to college and become an executive. Watch out, Roberta. <laughs> <laughs> next we have Miss June Jeffries. And June is a freshman at Montclair High School who hopes to study interior decorating when she gets through. And we have Jewel, Jewel Jones. Jewel is a freshman who loves cooking gospel singing and helping people. <laughs> All right, you. And we have Martha Urejo. Martha is a sophomore at Montclair High School and she skipped her track meet today just to come here and model. <laughs> and we have Miss Rhonda Dunn. Rhonda is also a sophomore at Montclair High School who plans to continue her education. Shelly. Shelly is a freshman at Montclair High School who is president of her class. Yes, ladies, we're coming out. And she plans to be a lawyer when she gets through. And we have Miss Deborah Dale. Deborah is a junior at Montclair High School who loves sewing and gymnastics, as we saw earlier. And Miss Terry. Terry Sini, she's a freshman at Montclair High School who has studied classical guitar for 10 years, five years, dance for 10 years. Thank you, Terry. And we have Joanne Bronander. Joanne is a dancer at Montclair High School and secretary for the Student Coalition. And last but not least is Miss Jacqueline Harris. And Jackie is a senior who is a flag twirler and plans to study linguistics when she gets through. Let's have a round of applause for our girls. And also, at this time, I'd like Mr. Glenn Doors to take a stand because he's been very instrumental in assisting me with the girls. And I'm sorry that, go ahead, give them a call to Glenn. I have another girl who's a model, but she had to work and we don't like to mess with anyone's money. Take a stand, Judy. She would have been up here if she got here soon enough. And one last thing, and I'll give the program back to Reverend Green. The girls were given their basic training techniques by one of their parents, Miss Taylor. She also had to work this evening, but she volunteered her time for four nights a week straight so we could get the program together. Thank you, girls, and thank you, everyone, for our fashion extravaganza. Go ahead on on.
and then nothing. Oh, oh push it very gently. Is it on? Is it two lights on? Yep. Two red? Right. Okay. Now you have the lens the same way. You focus there and you can do whatever you Okay, you focus with your left and hold it with your right, yeah. probably? Mm -hmm. It's important to keep it as still as you can, you know, because you're, you're the only support. And move it with, tuck it into your body and move yeah. with your body. Time changing, trying to find a better day while natural life slowly fades away. People changing but don't understand. Women loving women and man getting down with man. Styles of hair changing from process to Afro to DA. People trying to show their sophistication in every possible way. Time, style, people appear to be strange, but it's all part of this thing called change. Changes of mind, changes of hair, even changes of the fancy clothes we wear. Changes of style, changes of weather, changes that will someday bring us together. Dig the people in their fancy coats waiting for the unemployment line, knowing, not knowing that life will end, that the changing of time. People changing from herbs to sebas to go codeine, popping pills as though they were manipulated machines. People changing their lives by changing their color. We change so much we don't even know our real mother. Changes throughout the universe, changes throughout the land. Females changing from homely women to attractive men. Things are beginning to look so strange. We have the changes of the changes that are being changed. Changes in people, the changes of time. We are changing so much it's deteriorating the mind. Changes of children, changes of man. Changes so much is messing up the land. Changes in people and the problems that dwell within. And most of the changes will start all over again. All of the changes that are strange to the mind, but the world will still end within the changing of time. Black or white, no matter what color you are, because right here on Earth, you are a precious little star. For you are the fruit of the universe and mother of civilization. But in order for your beauty to be shown, you must have love and inspiration. Yes, you are everything the Lord made you to be, gentle as a flower and calm like the sea. Without the women of the world, what more could be said? Because you are the shades at night we see when we go to bed. Beautiful, fine women, no matter what color or creed. You are the reason I cry and the only one I'll need. Yes, to you I give a bow for your great ability and your keen know-how. Mother of civilization, most everything you do is correct. But now man himself must give you respect. That note, let's see what type of sportswear our young ladies have for us to be. And our first model will be Martha. Beautiful Martha. <laughs> You will notice that it ties around the collar with short sleeves and tied at the waist. Her skirt is a plaid skirt with deep pockets and a yoked front. And she has on those fabulous ankle strap shoes to bring back that 40s look. Thank you so much, Martha. <laughs>
happy June. Miss June Jeffrey. June has all for us a green check suit. Her jacket has zippered pockets, and underneath you see that bad button down vest with a white tie blouse, and her skirt has a seat in the front. Ladies, you can wear this to your business meetings or to your lunches. Thank you. Great belt at the top, 
Right, and help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> 